So you and you. Hey. So, Sogo Ni. So it's Sogo Ni on the Joe side. You take the Joe and you go pop. And then raise. Bow. So let's all do it together. Koru, we gotta do this. Sogo Ni. Hey. Hi. Good. So bring the Joe back online. Back to Sune no Kamai. Nice. Skis away. Yoi! Hey. Feet together. Hajime. Slow. Very slow. Wait, wait, wait. Don't move. No one on the Joe side moves till there's a cut. Now step and sink back. Big motion around and pin the wrist. Back. Down. Up. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Everyone pinned? Everyone pinned? Not quite. Soon to be. Sword. Back to Joe Don. Joe. Draw the Joe all the way back. Step in. Draw it all the way back. Step in and pin the wrist. Nice. Everyone looks good. Sword. Now back and retire. And now. Osami. Each. All the way out. Knee. Good. Turn the hand. Put the Joe away. Yeah. Yeah, baby. That's great. Okay, sword retires one step, two steps. Now Joe retires. We're the losers. We have to give ground first. It's another sign of submission. You let us take a couple of steps back, and we'll talk a little more about that, but make sure you let us move before you move. We're, no, 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 no. Sune no come on. Just come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So if she starts going back first and we have just did Osame, I'm gonna fill the space. So don't be the one that retreats, right? You know, sword, let the sword break distance a little bit and then you go back. That was really good. Uh, we need to figure out how to rotate on this scale. Why don't we rotate? Tachi's rotate. It doesn't change the scale any, but I guess we can just take one step yeah. down for a while. We'll just shift back and forth like some strange panopticon device. <laughs> uh, blew Howard's mind. Okay. <laughs> Let's try it again. Skis with Yoink. You have to step forward. There's not enough space if you don't step forward. Hajime. Sword goes in. Stop. 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 Go back. That was cool. But let it turn in the palm. So you have that hand and then this hand. Okay, now. Yeah. Yeah. And now up your center line and down my center line. Good. And now that hand is tied to the hip, the waist. Good. There's good pressure. So now I'm going to go back, draw the Joe all the way back. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Draw it all the way back. And now bring the back hand to the front. Ah, beautiful. 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 Lower this a little bit. No muscle. No muscle. Yeah, nice. Keep the eyes. Osame. Each. Draw it all the way back. Ah, almost died. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Knee. <laughs> and now put the Joe away, son. Cool. All right. You're going to have it in five more tries, I can tell. That's fast, by the way. That's fast. All right. Everyone take on the sword side one more step to the right. <laughs> hey. Skis away. Yoi. Hajime. Yeah, nice. I can tell it's rooted to you. <laughs> Thank you.
good, 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 good. Yeah. So, but but keep a balance in the weapon because you may need to use the other end faster. Yeah. I'm sorry, Osama, each. Draw it all the way back. Knee. Turn the hand. Put the Joe away. Excellent. I forget sometimes if I don't tell you what to do, you won't know what to do. So if I ever forget again, just say, hey, sensei. Okay? Sword goes back. One step. Two. So you go back. Nice. Nice, nice. Looking good. So, uh... All the swords should take one more step to the right. Shift down. Tight. Skis with. Going. Feet together. Feet together. Don't have them too wide. This isn't Daito Ryu. You want feet together. Squeeze your thighs together. If you have fat thighs like I do. Most of you look good. Excellent. Hey, Hajime. Sword comes in. Cut. Up your center line. A big whoop. Down my center line. Right? Sword goes back to Joda. Joe uses all the stick and pins the swordsman's wrist. Joe retires. Excuse me, <laughs> sword retires. That could have been a tragic uh, killing zone. Joe does Osame. Each, draw it all the way back. Knee. Turn the hand, put the Joe away. Now sword retreats. One step, two, Joe goes back. Nice, nice, nice. It's looking good, looking better and better. Better and better. You want to keep rotating, Peter? It's a long run. I just did it. Yep. Oh, I All right. Come on, get your miles in. Again, skis away. Yoi. Step forward. Yeah. Hi. Hajime. Sword comes in. Big cut. Joe goes back. Big pin. Back to Joe Dunn. Take all the Joe. Pin the wrist. Nice. Nice. Sword retires. Osame. Each. Draw the Joe all the way back. Knee. Right hand to right thigh. Turn the hand. Put the Joe away. Cool. Sword retreats. One step, two. Joe releases. Excellent. I think it's going very well. You guys go down. I'm not going to make these guys run. They're sensei. <laughs> you guys are, no, Jack, no, no, you're a sensei. You don't go running. That's for the young guys. So I wanted to show a couple of things about this kata. So sword, let me get a Joe. And then I'm going to let you do it another, I don't know, three or 4,000 times and we'll talk. But I'm going to show it a couple of times from a couple of different angles. So we're here. This is a simple kata, right? He's going to come in to cut, and I'm just going to sink my weight back. That's all I'm doing. I'm just picking up this foot and sinking back. It's really easy. This is stupid easy. How do you get off the line? You just sink go back. So he's going to do that. I'm going well back. I'm outside the range of my weapon. Let's turn this way. Right? My weapon can't reach you. This is how far away I am. Right? Hey! But it opens up a really nice attack back in. I'm not just, boop, right? It's a big attack. I'm taking it up here. I'm, I'm stretching out this part of my body as I do it to wind up for a big strike in. And so, it's actually really powerful. I'm not just going left. I'm going whoop. 
And I don't know if you could see that, but that time I took it outside the line of his, his nose because I was close enough where I might have bounced off his nose. And this is the other thing that's going on is there's a threat here to the face, the head, that on the sword side you can feel. It's like, <laughs> you know, it makes you go back. It breaks your balance. And then there's the pin, but it's not just a pin. It's a draw pin. You see how I'm hooking him? It's like a sword cut. It's, zoom, it's big, and it's round, and it comes back to my center at the end. And as it comes back to my center, it works this part of his triangle that's weak, right here. Right? So it's not Daito Ryu, it's not Aiki, but it's the same physical principle that I'm pinning him in a place where he's not strong. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I take his balance, I draw his wrist. It's kind of fun. No one does it this way in Japan. People in Japan do it like they're doing a Don te test. So it looks very precise. So, right? There's no draw there. But that's what's in it. Sorry, Jack. <laughs> you know, but that's what's in it. That's what's going on here between us. And so it's a threat to the head, and then it's a pin of the wrist that's actually drawing him against his balance point. So now when he goes to go back, I've kind of got him. This is the other thing you need to know. We'll turn this way for a minute. I'm not continuing to push down. I've already pulled back. This is all I'm going to do. I'm not giving him anything this way. Nothing that way at all. He could just let go and try and come in, right? So I'm neutral at this point. I've got as much as I want to take. I'm not going to give him anything more to play with. I've stopped at this point. Now, he can't just raise up. But he can slide off the end. And that's when I'm going to take the rest of the Joe. And then I'm going to come in. And again, there's this... As this comes in, sorry Jack, <laughs> as this comes in, I'm pushing from here right into him. And you can see this line that goes from the Joe to here. It's tied to my body here, right? So I'm pinning him again with my whole body. It's not the weapon at all. It's my body communicated through the weapon. And that's all I'm doing to him. But it takes his Kazushi. And it's impossible for him to cut like this. It's impossible for him to cut like that. He just can't. So, in Japan, what you'll see is a very proper kata. That I'm here, we can do it by the numbers. Big back, big in, bump. And that's all it is. And you think, oh well, I could do that after a few years, that's easy. And that's true, you can. You absolutely can. And you can probably get non-a-don or something. I don't know what you can get. Maybe, well, they quit giving out nine, ten don. But, yeah, you can get a long way. But the, the combative application is a different set of applications. Dang. Right? It's a different set of applications. There's a lot more aggression built into the kata than you'd ever know without playing with a little, a little bit. There's another thing going on, another opening, if you will. So, I can be fast by, by doing that. And I'm immediately into it. Well, that's good. It's good. Hey! But I don't have this. I didn't get enough motion to actually take this, his balance. I can pin him that way, but I can't do anything more. And the other thing I lose if I'm too small is when I'm big, I've got that. I don't need to pin anything. I don't need to pin anything. You know, this line? Okay, fine. You know, I don't need to pin anything. I can just take the head and we're all done. The cot is done right there. Um, so that's another thing that's kind of in there, but you have to be big enough for that to be available to you. So you have to lift up at least this much so you have that. If you're too small, you don't have anything. So this is the reason why when you're doing this, 
Your teacher's gonna say, back, big up your center line, over there center line, whoa, whoa, over there center line, and then in. And then they go back, and you follow, and you pin. And then they retire. And if you do that enough, the rest of these things are available to you. So that's what you're trying to get to, though maybe not today. Maybe some of you, but, but you know, it takes a little while. But there's a lot in this kata. It's a really simple kata, right? It's like back, in, in. But there's a lot going on between us. So let's do sword a little more on skis away. And let's see what we got. Hey. Skis away. Yoi. Hey, step forward. I don't care. It's all it's all good. Hajime. Sword comes in. Cuts. Sword goes back to Jodan. Pin the wrist. Nice. Sword sword retires. Hi, Osame. Each. Ni. Son. So, bring the hand all the way down till the hands are touching. Yeah. And back across. So now, we retire on the sword side. One step, two. That releases Joe. Okay? Cool. Uh, you guys rotate around a little bit. Mix it up. I'm going to come down to the far end of the pool. Hey, skis away. Yoi. Hajime. Take a little step forward. Don't end up in the alley. Hey. Hey. Osame. Draw it all the way back. Good, nice. That's good, Osama. Sure, you haven't done stick work before? Sure. You would know. Sword retires, Joe retires. So I want to watch. Uh, yeah, you three. You three. Everyone can watch, too. You don't have to avert your eyes or anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say anything except call the, the kata. So, skis away. Yoi! Hadjane. Nice. Oh, Sami. Good. Good. So the next three. Hey. Skis away. Yoi. Extend your arm a little bit. A little bit. An elbow should hang down. Yeah, nice. Hajime. Go ahead and do a summit. Go ahead and retire. Nice. Next group. Hey, next three. Skis away. Yoi. Oh yeah. You don't want to miss out on this. This is a once-in-a-lifetime chance. Uh, yeah. 
I thought he was Kenshin for a sec. <laughs> Skis away. Yoi. Hajime. So Grover, watch. Hey. So sword, right? Yeah, I know, isn't that great? So nice. So from here, when I retire, I can't retire down this line. She'll take my eye out. Or she would if she was not as nice as she is. I have to retire by sliding offline and bring the sword to a neutral position. If I keep it in walkie, it's like, oh, I'm, I'm still coming in. I have to take it to a neutral position. And I have to get there in a way that's not threatening. So back, dead positions. They can't be Kamai, right? It has to be kind of dead positions with uh, Hasuji, the angle of the blade, not pointing at my partner. Because it's rude since she's kind enough not to take my eye to threaten her as I retire. So be very careful how you take the sword back. So now you can do a sum. H, knee, sum. Okay. So now you're going to be partnered with Grover. And if he doesn't do that right, you can hit him in the face with your joke. <laughs> so you guys work the last three. <laughs> Got to put some pressure on. <laughs> hey. Skis away. Yoink. Hajime. Nice. Nice. That was tricky. That guy's tricky. Gotta watch him. Oh, sorry. That was magical. It was. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. So, please. So we're here. We're just going to do it nice and easy. So, zoot, zoot, turn the hand, zoot. Right. So a couple other things, Jack. Um, oh, they're all good. They're all good, Joe. So, uh, some of this I went over yesterday, but some of you weren't here. And besides, oral traditions require repetition or you forget things. So remember, ring finger, that's the magic spot. That's what lets it turn in the hand. He's going to come in to cut. Back. That was actually not very good on either part. That's better. It's actually a little wide. So here we are. I'm going to pick this up. It's going to come over, down his center line, and I'm going to pin the hand, and he's going to go back, and I'm going to follow and pin. You really shouldn't hit as hard as I just hit him. You should just slide gracefully. But here, this is what I wanted to address, the Osame. What's going on here? So I've got his eye, right? That's what I'm aiming at this, all this time. It doesn't matter whether I'm here or whether I'm here, I'm aiming at an eye. Choose an eye. Some people like the left eye, some people like the right eye. I try to take the forward eye, which is usually going to be his left eye. So, zoop. Right? 
it's on the same line. As I draw back, when I'm doing Joe with some intensity, it should feel like that I'm just setting up to take your eye out. Right? Between the ring fingers, put it away. Right here. Right here. I'm ready to come back in. If that blade starts to come towards me, I'm coming right between his legs. So, this isn't just because it's pretty and elegant, like putting a sword away, you know, you put it back in the saya and the hand comes down, then there's a little moment. It's that, but it's also setting up for this, so that you can hit him with some power if you have to. Boom. So, this comes back over. Um, Saltome Sensei, one of the things I remember most clearly is he talked about never having a dead hand. You can't let your hand be dead. You know, if you do that, someone can see that's a dead hand from 50 feet away. There's no life in it. It's just like a rock. And this, well this, this is just limp and sad. It's got to have some energy in it. So as it comes back, it's with control, right? It's with control, but it's open. It's in a perfect position for the Joe to come back into it. You're ready to go back to the weapon at any time with anything. So, because this is dangerous. This is really dangerous. I want to be able to come back in and hit him if he starts to do something stupid. Step out and hit him if he starts to do something stupid. So, you have to communicate on the Joe's side with your body that even though we're done, I'm ready to start again anytime you are. Um, Osato Sensei, my teacher's senior student, talks about this feeling like, I think someone talked about it earlier today, a ball. You should feel like you're holding a large ball here. And there's tension in the hara, right? So you're ready to spin in with power, tied to the hip. Everything's hard. And you talked about the back straightening, you know. It's like, hmm. I'm, I'm ready right here, I'm ready right here to come in. Because he's so close, and this is a piece of wood, but properly it should be a really long razor blade. And I don't want to fuck this up. And as we get further apart, we relax. Hey, how are you, Jack? Good, good. It was good for me too. So, you know, you, you, you really want to manifest, you embody an ability to come back in and stop them. You want them, even if you don't think you can do it, you want to make them think you can do it. Because, you know, there's a psychological angle to all this work. This is a policing art, right? So, I want to break his will to keep going. I don't want to kill him if I can avoid it. I want to break his will to keep going. And so I want him to know that he's mine anytime we come together. And at the end, as he's backing away, it's like, that's fine, you, you should go back. I think that's a great idea. You know, it's, it's like that presence. Uh, police call it command presence. You want that feeling. That's what you're communicating. Hmm? Oh. You won't come out. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, command presence right there. All right. I think it's okay. Um, so that's part of what's going on in this kata. You get to practice Osame in every kata. That's how important it is. It's in every kata. Because there's this moment when you're very close to each other and you're coming to an end where you have to be able to do it with self-possession and convincingly let the other person know, I know it looks like the Joe is coming back, but it's not. It's actually going right into your brain case. So don't twitch wrong. You know, that's what's going on here. So you're just like, I don't know how to do Osame. I understand, but it's really important. So you have to learn it. You have to practice it. If you practice nothing else in Joe for like a year, and just did Osama, your teacher would be really impressed. Because teachers watch this exchange about as closely as anything in Joe. 
to see what the feeling is between the players. Because that's the place where you can measure the intensity, the maturity, the zanshin of the, of the two people involved. You know, how good are they? How long have they been training? Well, they can look at that and get a sense for it. So, I know we're doing it kind of by the numbers, and I know it's asking a lot of you to do this and this, but when you get here, try and do it, try and keep that Joe on their eye as you draw back. Take your time. It's a straight line, right? How hard can it be? Keep it on a straight line. <laughs> Turn the hand. Put it away, but don't just put it away and dangle. They're, they're going to kill you. They're going to kill you. Right? Put it away and be full. Yeah, it's, it's right here. And it's pointing right at you, stud. You feel lucky? Cool. <laughs> Me too. Let's see how it goes this time. You know, you've got to have some of that swagger when you're doing Osama. Because they're so close. They are so close. Yes, yeah, swagger. Yeah. S-W-A-G-G-E-R. Bang. <laughs> We're going to get t-shirts made. Uh, let me say one more thing. We'll switch sides for a second. Right here, I said this yesterday, I'm going to say it again. This is the most dangerous moment in the Osame exchange, the closing of the kata. Because when we're, let's try it this way. When we're both flat footed, even though I'm kind of on the balls of my feet, I can rotate, but I can't come in very easily until I get here. Well, right there, I'm loaded to come forward. I know I took a step back, but it's a step back to prepare to go forward. So that's a really dangerous place. When you do your Osama and you get to this place, and you think, okay, I'm counting their steps, one. Well, when you hear one in your brain, you go, shit, I better be ready. Because <laughs> this is the place where if they're going to do something desperate, it'll be here. Because I'm here, one. Now I'm loaded to come forward. Power hip, power hand, on a line with him. If there's a time I'm going to get him, it's right here. He's taken the line. You can't see this. Jack has actually moved his Joe off my center to take the line away for me to come in. <laughs> Which is pretty clever. Actually, I, I respect him for that. But it should be right here on my suigets. There's no opening. And now I've disconnected the power line, right? This is the power hand, but that's the power foot. I can still get in there. Don't think he's out of danger yet, but it's not as natural. I don't feel the power flowing in the same way. So now I break contact. And that's why he can step. As I start this step, he can start to go back safely. So go ahead, he takes a step. And now we just break contact. Now we just break contact. So really, when you get to that Osame piece, and you're putting it away, be aware that the other guy is right there. Right there. They're right here, ready to kill you. So do it with some care. Right? Right? The feeling of it. The feeling of it. Let's try it a few more times. Jack, sword. How are we doing for time? We're about right. Come on in. Fill in. We're going to swap around a lot. So, skis away. Yoi. Don't be shy. Step up and find a partner. 
Hajime. Just do it at your own speed. Hey. Hey. That's easy. <laughs> hey, rotate around, head to the the other end a little bit. Hey, skis away. Yoink. Hajime, do it at your own pace. Sword, don't overload them. Keep rotating, keep rotating as you finish. Skis way. Yoink! Hajime. Rotate a little bit. Skis away. Right. Hajime. Hey. 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 Rotate. Skis away. Yoink. Hajime. Hey, rotate around. Someone's eating the swordsman on that end. They never show up down here. It's amazing. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever getting to the other end. I'm just stopping somewhere in here. It seems safe. <laughs> yeah, right. For everyone that steps down, two disappear. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Skis away. Yoi. Hajime. Yoi.
Cât zi Hei! Rotate down. Thank you, Jack. Skis away! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, don't overdo it, man. <laughs> Yo. Hadi me. Close fingers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Notice I noticed you twitch. Yes, sir. Bravo. Are, are, we, uh, are we okay? You've got five minutes. Excellent. Wind it up. Rotate around. Hey, skis away. Yoi. Hajime. Hey. He <laughs> came out of it in one piece. That's a victory. <laughs> hey, rotate around. Skis away. Yoi. Hajime. Good, good. Oh, sorry. Rotate. <laughs> Hold have it. Skis away. Yoi. Hajime. Hey. Hey. Hey, Pamigi, rotate. <laughs> Skis away. Yo. Hajime. Hey. And, uh, Joe. Yeah. Good. Nice. Hey, yummy. Not it. Means put the sword away. So gonna eat. Great. That was great. Everyone did a great job. Uh, unfortunately, we've run out of time, or I could teach you the rest of Joe. And we, can, <laughs> we could uh, move on to the Kenjits and Kasarigama, but, but really, the time's just flown by. Yeah. So, um, everyone line up on that side. We'll, we'll do a formal bow out again. Don't worry whether you have a sword or a Joe. We'll make it work. Thanks, Jack. Hey. Hey. Seiza. Bokso.
Yummy! Since I got a knee. Blee! Shins and knee. <laughs> <laughs>